This is a short clip from today's podcast episode. So how do we hire better people out there? We all have problems with this uh, pretty much, I would say, 99% of the companies out there. So uh, we've interviewed some companies who have systems and they help you do it. I like how you help them bring it in-house. So let's talk about the differences there. Huge fan of bringing it in-house. I tell people this, you know, we would never hire somebody to go out and interview someone for a first date. <laughs> we would never say, hey, go have a date with her. And if you guys hit it off, then send her to me and I'll talk to her and see if it's someone I want to spend more time with. We would never do that in the dating world. Like I like it. Good analogy. We're Great analogy. All day yeah. long. You screen her for me. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing it all day long. And then we're exactly. wondering why these people aren't working out. Yeah. And a lot of it is chemistry, right? You, know, you get to read that person after uh, when you decide to meet them. Yeah. You know, I think if you want to hire better people, the reality is you have to become a better employer. Yeah, exactly. So let's talk to that. What What makes a better employer? Well, I think a lot of it depends on who you're attracting. If you want to attract better people, you have to become the right employer to better people. So yeah. let's start there. Let's start with yeah. who is the right person? Who Who is a better person? What are you looking for? And then become the company that that person wants to work for. So if you want someone who's a go-getter, if you want someone who follows through on their commitments, well, I want you to take a step back for a second and say, do you present yourself as the kind of company that go-getters would thrive at? Right. Odds are you probably don't, which is why you're not getting go-getters. Uh, when you say following through on their commitments, I want you to take a step back and say, do I present myself as the kind of company that follows through on commitments? Because if I don't, right. then I need to take a step back and, and make that change. Yeah. Yeah. So systems, right? If we have systems in place as employers and training SOPs, then then we can get them to the point where they do things we want them to do, accomplish the tasks we want them to accomplish in the manner that we want, to, or they can expedite it. So let's talk about that. So you know what makes a good employer is what is is knowing what they're looking for and systems. Can you add on to that? Yeah, be really clear on who you want. That's number one. I use a lot of fishing analogies too, and uh, you know when you want to go fishing, the first decision that you need to make makes all other decisions easier. Is what kind of fish you want to catch? Mm. It's going to tell you the gear you need to bring. It's going to tell you the location. It's going to tell you the type of bait, the type of food they're going to be interested in. It tells you. It tells you everything. Yeah. But we often don't think that. What we think is, well, where do I want to go fishing? Right. And that's usually the answer I get. Well, that's how we treat recruiting. Well, if I want someone new, I'm just going to go to Indeed. Except right. the people you want probably aren't on Indeed. So yeah. when I made the realization, it was a shift for me. And this was over a decade ago. But recruiting is really a marketing activity. Yep. It's not an HR activity. Yet we give it to the yep. HR team. And then we're disappointed because we don't get the results we expect. <laughs> right. And what's the marketing team do? The first time you sit down, they say, tell us about your target customer, your target employee. Let's start talk about the target. And then now we need to start putting the right kind of message, the right kind of branding and, and everything else in front of those people. Then when they come to us, most, most job seekers do not want to work for a company that doesn't have their act together. No, 100%. But we're often too busy that we wing it. We're just, we're just too busy being too busy. And so we wing it. We figure it out. And we don't create consistency. And we don't really get to go through the whole process. So creating a great experience for people when they show up, I think, is more important than having an SOP on how you turn the wrench and fix this piece of equipment. I think it's more important to let's create an experience that people leave talking about and thinking about. You know, they get back to their car and the first thing they do before they even start up the car is they call their spouse and they say, you're not going to believe it. This was so cool. Like, I hope they call me and give me the job. In fact, <laughs> I'm going to go home and I'm going to follow up with the hiring manager right now because it was such a great experience. I like that. 